What's up, my dudes, my dudettes, and wrestling colleagues of all kinds? This is Dan the Beast 94 coming back at you with another video. I apologize for the last unboxing of WrestleMania's 34 and 35 on Blu ray. Um, I should have gave you a more insight on what's inside the Blu ray, took everything out to shrink wrap. So, this will be my WrestleMania 34 Blu ray review. So, I took everything out to shrink wrap already. I took the digital code out, so that way I don't show you guys. Um, this is the front, and this is the back, basically saying, welcome to WrestleMania. Uh, what I like about this, when I opened it, they did have the uh, match inserts. And this also includes the Raw after WrestleMania, with special features like the uh, WrestleMania kickoff matches. And also has the Blu-ray exclusives with... The uh, SmackDown Live show from April 10th of 2018 um, with Shane in introducing the new SmackDown Live GM and Carmella cashing in. So let's give a look inside. So this does come with the match insert card, as I said, to this set. Um, so with disc one, we have the triple threat match for the Intercontinental Championship. The Miz versus Seth Rollins uh, versus Finn Balor. Uh, that was a pretty good match. Uh, SmackDown Women's Championship match. Charlotte, Charlotte Flair versus Asuka. I really wish Asuka um, would have won it at Mania. Um, Asuka is one of my favorites at the moment, along with uh, Kari Zayn, um, Io Shirai. Uh, we also had the Fatal 4-Way match for the United States Championship. Uh, Randy Orton taking on Bobby Roode versus Jinder Mahal versus Rusev. Jinder Mahal winning that. Um, okay, I guess. Uh, then we had the mixed tag team match between Kurt Angle and Ronda Rousey. The debuting in-ring debut of Ronda Rousey taking on Triple H and Stephanie McMahon. Um, pretty okay match. Um... Definitely a WrestleMania moment. The uh, triple threat match, triple threat tag team match for the SmackDown tag titles with the Usos, the New Day, and the Bludgeon Brothers. Um, Undertaker versus John Cena. Um, and then basically later on they go to congratulate the class of um, 2018, the Hall of Fame. Uh, let's see. Then we had the returning Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Um, I like how they build that up for Daniel Bryan to make his return at Mania, the same Mania, the same building. He basically won the, um, World Heavyweight title. Uh, we had the Raw Women's Championship match, Alexa Bliss versus Nia Jax. Um, if anything, I am calling Nia Jax to return at the, in the Women's Royal Rumble. Um, maybe the men's Royal Rumble too, but I highly doubt that. Uh, then we had the WWE Championship match, uh, between AJ Styles and Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura turning heel. And then we move on to disc two. Uh, Raw Tag Team Championship match. Uh, The Bar taking on Braun Strowman and a mystery partner, which, honestly, they should have just... Added Lashley to the card, Bobby Lashley, but instead they ended up grabbing a 9-year-old, 11-year-old kid. Could have been me, damn it. God damn it. Um, then we had the Universal Championship match between Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns. So, speaking about Brock Lesnar, since he's entering number one in the Royal Rumble, I'm calling it right now, Cain Velasquez is going to be number two. No doubt about it. I don't care what No Way Jose says. Psh, don't care. Then also on disc two, we have the uh, the uh, the Raw episode. Basically, the Raw after WrestleMania. Um, and then also we have the special features, which I already included. And the Blu-ray exclusives, which is the SmackDown Live episode so anyway that does it for my wrestlemania 34 review hopefully you guys enjoyed give me a like a comment and always subscribe and until next time
Catch you later.